from Regal in Latin America, and I'm with rebel leader Tomas Berenes, the man responsible for much of the rebel army strategy. You are 500 rebels. You are students and intellectuals, and yet you've held off the National Guard for three weeks now. How do you do it? We are strong and we are right. Don't forget, this is our country. Our blood is in the earth. According to my sources, your top men, including yourself, were trained by Soviets and by Cubans. Yes, many of them. After we win, the government will be for the people, of the people. There will be no more political relations. Well, you are very poor country. How do you propose to do that? You need to shut the reputation. I am против. Years to come. So far, hundreds have been killed and thousands are homeless. Она очень компетентна. Это может помочь Титанту. Я за... Да. Я за... Nikki, our network has to follow certain procedures, and I've told you this a thousand times. Oh my God, procedures, procedures. I mean, that's the only way that works. Nicole, if you keep breaking rules, excuse me, like this, someday somebody is going to get mad at you and break your goddamn neck. Nah, my neck. Yeah, well, one of these days, you and your neck are going to be suspended. Thompson, please, 15 seconds. And, I'm coming, I'm And I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. Oh, no? No. Well, tell me, um, would this help? Got an exclusive interview with Bushinsky. You got it. That's right. And you know what? I'm going. Okay, Thompson. You won. Thompson, don't be mad. Uh, you know we're going to bring great stuff back from Moscow. I've never been to the Soviet he Union. Guy, he said, Canada's Prime Minister will soon visit with Vladislav Bushinsky, the General Secretary of the Communist Party in Russia, for talks on détente and the Helsinki Accord, issues that will affect seriously the relations between the Soviet Union and the West. And tonight. I paid a surprise visit to a Canadian who does a lot of business behind the Iron Curtain. Oh, you almost didn't make it again. Is it a good piece? Yeah. But what makes him different is that he's got some pretty radical ideas. Mr. Zachman, you came to Canada 50 years ago. And you have made a fortune here. Where were you born? Okay. I believe I was born in Europe. You see, I was an orphan, and I was brought here. Well, I was brought to New York first, then here, you see, by my foster parents. And they died a million years ago. They were in the fur business, and so I'm in the fur business. And I'm more or less settled here now. Mm-hmm. But you visit socialist republics, and you spend money there, and they've got more government than anybody. Nikki, because I like you, I'm going to confess publicly why I visit these exotic places. Shall I? All right. You know how violent a hurricane is, or a cyclone. But you know that the center of the cyclone is the most quiet place in the world? An airplane, for instance, can float like a butterfly. See, I go around trying to do business in the center of enemy nations and warring nations. And you know there, I find a lot of very, very nice people. We become friends. We're kind of like the uh, peaceful merchants, you might say. Floating like a butterfly in the center of cyclones. That's it? That's it. Shalom. David B. Zachman, a very charismatic salesman in our capitalist world. Well, next time we meet, I will be in Moscow.
the press room. Where do I find it? Second floor down the corridor. Always. No, come on, this way. Next, you may meet Russian citizens here. We, we hope you will. Make friends with them. But be circumspect. Do remember that the Russian authorities are anxious to guard against foreign influences, which they see as undesirable. But now, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you the Chief Liaison Officer for the State Commission of Radio and Television, Sergei Sergeyevich Petrov. Thank you. I am Lyosha, my friends, and uh, I hope you will all become my friends. Welcome to my country. And welcome to my city, Moscow. I hope that while you are here, you will discover some of her charms. Did you know that a Kremlin or a walled citadel has existed on this spot now for almost a thousand years. And for almost a thousand years, it's been overcrowded. <laughs> but we are making rapid progress. For example, an apartment complex that once took two years to build now goes up in two months. Well, of course, it still takes two years to put in the uh, plumbing, electricity, but... Uh, <laughs> That teaches us the virtue of patience. Now, if you will share this virtue with us, I'm sure there is a lot that we can learn from each other. So, any questions? Is the uh, Zharov trial still close to the press? Yes, it is. And if you wish to protest, you may join the line that started with our own press. Mr. Petrov, what kind of censorship will we have to contend with? Thank you for that question. You may be assured that your reports will be screened for um, accuracy. I'm sorry about this, but I find that I am not always in agreement with the commissioners on these matters. What do you do about it? I'm sorry? Mr. Petrov, I asked, what do you do about it? I allow myself the luxury of being wrong, and uh, I try to learn how to be uh, more persuasive in the future. How about your food? Is uh, this going to improve? As I was leaving uh, to come here today, there was a communication from the party's leader. He said that the food throughout all Russia would definitely improve by noon tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give me a level, Nikki? Yes. Can you hear me with that wind? Okay, got you. Okay, well, let's go quick because we don't have much time. Okay. Red Square oh, at the very point. heart of Moscow, an open-air arena for centuries of dramatic history. People come from all over the Soviet Union to admire the square and visit the tomb of Lenin, the father of communist Russia. This line began forming at dawn, and by midday, it is well over a mile long. Where are you from? In old what? Russia. Where are you from? Canada. No friend, Avram Zharov. Well Richard, there's Red a guy Black. who says his friend is Zharov. Who is he? This guy says he knows Zharov. What's we, your name? We are refusing Some of us are Jews who want to practice our religion in, in Israel, but they won't let us leave. Please, you must publish the name of the dissidents. What is he saying? He says, uh, you cannot permit to speak with me. What? Can we two meet later? And I, I would we like we got to... Trouble. Hang on, we'll get what? It. What is he saying? Stay with it, Nikki. Your advice. advice. Well, that's all right. That man no. didn't do anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? But he didn't do anything. You want to go on television? I can't believe it. I have a permit to film here. You realize that? Yeah, a yeah, permit yeah. to film here. Yeah. Richard, keep, keep shooting. Yeah, keep talking. Yeah. Keep talking, Nikki. Well, keep talking. I mean, I, I don't want to be taken there. I do have a permit. Okay, Why okay. don't you understand that? That is it. Нет, давайте лучше в 6. Да, я думаю, это будет хорошо. 5.30? Нет, давайте лучше в 6. Да, Welcome я... to our Moscow jail, Mr. Да, хорошо, понятно. Hello! What kind of country is this, anyway? 
can't even speak to someone on the street without getting arrested. I think I explained to you this morning about the need for proper authorization. Oh, oh, but I had authorization. Oh, yes, to film Lenin's mausoleum, not to engage in interviews with subversive elements who present a somewhat distorted view of our society. Hey, look, the man came up to me. I didn't know he was a subversive element. Fortunately, I've been able to convince the police of your ignorance. <laughs> and therefore of your innocence. However, I don't think that'd be so easy to convince a second time. Okay, well, they got my tape. Where is it? What hmm? to? Хорошо. Your tape will be returned to you as soon as it has been screened. You mean censored. Dura. Do you know why the General Secretary granted you this interview? Because I recommended you to him. And thanks to you, tomorrow I may lose my job. Arrestovat. Oh, hey, Arrestovat, uh, Lyosha, please, wait. What's the big deal? Don't be angry. I didn't mean to be rude. Sorry. All right. Well, come on, then. We'll be late. Late for what? For the reception. <gasps> the reception? Come on! Do you know your Prime Minister well? He gave me my first interview. He was a backbencher then, and I was a young, hungry journalist. How well do you know Boshinsky? Oh, I see him fairly often on business, but I, I don't think there's anyone that knows him very well. He keeps to himself. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to try out his English on me. How is it? Not very good. Did you uh, really recommend me for this interview? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, we all make mistakes. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, um, let me look at you. <laughs> let evening, me look Mr. at you. Mr. Petrov. How do you like living in Moscow? Oh, please, please, don't ask. I was afraid you'd still be locked up in police headquarters. I was rescued. How did you know? Well, I heard there was a Canadian journalist arrested in Red Square, and I, I knew you were in town. You know, like, who else? <laughs> you Thank you. You're lucky our friend here has black. You know, full influence. Charm. Charm, eh? Uh -huh. You be careful, Nikki. This guy breaks hearts the way you break rules. Excuse me. Yes, yes. That's right. Go and do your duty. You know, you should stop writing gossip columns. Don't listen to it. Can't we get a scotch in this place? A scotch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's she? I've seen pictures of her. That is Dr. Ulanova, one of the Nobel Prize winners. She's head of the Novotny Institute. Biochemist. I'd like to meet her. <laughs> Good luck. Hello. Dr. Ulanova, I'm Nicole Thompson. I'm a journalist. Yes, I know. You are here to interview the General Secretary, I believe. I hope so. I'm really looking forward to visiting the Novotny. Would you grant me an interview? I'm sorry, but we like to have our work speak for themselves. But I'm sure people would be fascinated in my country, in, in the views of a woman in your position. My responsibilities at present make an interview impossible. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. think you're doing? Well, I thought uh, we could uh, share a ride, the three of us. Where, where are we going? No place. 
You know you should stop lying about your news stories. Where are we going? Where are we going? I think I need a drink. Petrov. You all right? Well, I'm wet and determined. What happened to you? Bowman got a tip and I'm along with him. Tip? A tip, a tip. He wanted to interview a journalist, a dissident. Now, look, Nicole, I warned you. You warned me? I'm a journalist. It could have been a hot story. Is that for me? Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, you asked me to get you, I remember. Yes. <sighs> well, it looks as though you need one. At least they didn't arrest you this time. What happened? He disappeared. He flashed his lights at us, then a truck got between us, and by the time we got there, he was gone. You know, it seems to me that someone's played a silly joke on you. Oh, yeah? Well, we couldn't stop laughing, Leosha. It's your damn KGB. Oh, um, no. It is. They didn't want us to talk to him. Of course. And then they put him in uh, cement and uh, threw him in the river? <laughs> If the KGB wanted to arrest this man, they would simply have arrested him. You know that the police released you in my custody? Yes, I know. Well, as your custodian, I have decided that the only way to keep you out of trouble is to keep you out of Moscow. So Tuesday, you will dine with me in the country. Da? Huh? Da. Good. Settle. We can see one of the institutes for biochemistry laboratories where Soviet scientists are seeking cures for a variety of diseases. The Novotny Institute is advancing on many fronts in a struggle against human disease and suffering. One of our leading scientists and Nobel Prize winners is Dr. Valentino Huang. And under the direction, many important discoveries have been made. The biogenetics section is coming up. Mickey, that sign says no admittance. That work on the recombination of DNA, the separation and reassembling of nucleic acids, life space building blocks. The techniques under development in this section will lead to the elimination of hereditary diseases, and in addition, they will soon make possible the inexpensive and efficient production of life saving drugs such as. is the courthouse in Moscow. And inside, a young Russian named Avram Zharov is on trial. He's charged with anti-Soviet activities. And judging from the harsh sentencing of dissidents in the past, he could spend the rest of his life in prison. These people are outside the building because the doors to the trial are closed. The trial is secret. Friends, and family must wait out here for the verdict. Avram Zharov has become a symbol to many Soviet... Okay, Richard, stay tight on the mother's side. You speak English, do you? Would you ask... Mrs. Zharov, if she cares or wishes to say something to the rest of the world? Okay. Can I switch you? Hello. What are you doing here? My job. Stifling the free press, huh? Protecting my country from the prejudices of Western correspondents. <laughs> What are you doing here? My job, reporting the facts. Ah, there you see. We do at least have one thing in common. We're just uh, trying to do our jobs. This is Ted Bowen reporting live from Moscow. At the Kremlin this afternoon, the Prime Minister sat down with party leader Vladislav Bushinsky for the second round of their summit discussions. Topics on the agenda included the Helsinki Accord, in which the Prime Minister has promised to maintain a firm hand. 
as the heads of state conferred, another drama closely related to the Helsinki Accord and the freedom of movement of peoples and ideas took place a few blocks away. I am referring to the trial of Avram Zharov, who according to the official task release is charged with subversive activities and anti-Soviet propaganda. The outspoken 30-year-old dissident was sentenced to 15 years at hard labor for trying to tell the truth. In the days of detente, those who dare to disagree are muzzled. Avram Zharov. I'm sorry, Mr. Bowen. Communication difficulties make it impossible for you to continue your broadcast. You'll be informed just as soon as facilities are available to you again. Just doing your job, comrade. Never likes those anti-Soviet things, but if they pull my press credentials, that's it. The coverage of the trip is lost. Every competitor in the country has it but us, and I lose my job. Well, keep your job, Bowen. You deserve it. Tell me, why did you uh, cut off Bowen this morning? Because he did not stay to the text which he agreed to deliver. He broke his word. But uh, what he was saying was true. That's not the point. This man acted in bad faith with us. He did not respect our trust. Truth is more important to him. Why did he assume that this truth would not be accepted if he submitted it beforehand? Would it have been accepted? No. Hmm. Oh, really, listen. Listen, you tell me. What am I supposed to do, huh? Quit my job and so it goes to some ass-kissing yes-man who, who'll cut everything down to the party line, because here there's no competition I can offer my services to. It's not my fault if you live in a police state. Can we start all over again? <laughs> no politics. Non-controversial. Mm-hmm. Something we can both agree on. Then they run off without paying me. Too bad we're not allowed to tip in your country. That's all right. I work in Nelly Ever.
Ты Спасибо. So you see her, Soviet peasant behave. Hmm. To her, I am Peter the Great. What's that? It's a Russian saying. The saved is now the slave. Thank you for coming. Dr. Ulanova. Please let us walk. We will be less conspicuous. And this is my granddaughter, Tasha. Tasha? Hello. Здрасте. <laughs> Easy. Please not to mention our meeting. All right. I'm glad we could meet. Yes, but I'm sorry it is not for an interview. What do you believe? <laughs> what do you believe in? Truth and telling it. And people. Do you believe in people? A few. Yes, it is hard. And trust. Um, I have difficulty with trust. Oh, yes. But I think that we must begin by trusting each other. At the Institute, there is research going on, dangerous research. I have protested to the heads of the Institute, but they don't listen to me. I thought to take the information out. There are scientists in the West who can help us. What is it you want from me? I want you to take the information to the West. But it's espionage. I have no choice. I have to trust someone. 
I need you. What is this information? Tasha? Already? And if you want to know more and to help, and you come tomorrow here at one o'clock, and the babushka will bring you to me. Well, uh, this is where I live. And uh, there she is, my mistress, Moscow. What? What, jealous? Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Now, please, make yourself at home. Where is she? Huh? Your wife. Oh, she lives in the Ukraine. What happened? Well, I wanted a, a career in the capital. She wanted a quiet life in the provinces. In the end, we agreed to separate. Did you love her? In the beginning, I, I tried, but... Uh, we were just uh, too far apart. Zazijin! Zazijin. To life. To life. So tell me, how did you get your job? My job? I just wanted it. I wanted it. I got it. Oh, well, you got it. So, uh. <laughs> Well, do you like it? Yes. Why? It's exciting. I enjoy it. It's my life. I'm here today. Tomorrow I'm there. No time for looking back. It's my whole life. <laughs> what about uh, other things? Uh, what about friends, for example? As you know, we, we, we meet a lot of people. I'm hardly ever home. I truly appreciate special moments and special people. I'm lucky. Lucky? <laughs> well, don't you ever get lonely? Yes, who doesn't? Of course I get lonely. So, so, uh, I'm learning to cope with aloneness. You know, for the first time you've spoken to me, Podushan, through the heart. <laughs> uh, you ask too many questions. I'm the journalist. Aha, uh -huh, so you can't take it, huh? <laughs> When the tables are turned. Mm -hmm. Ah, life. You know, life is... It's too short to spend it in disagreeing with each other. Don't you agree? I can't disagree with that. Good. How's your teeth? Hello. Hello. I didn't know if you would come. Here I am. Yes. Uh, you uh, sit or uh, a tea? Yes, thank you. Yes. Tasha tea. Your son? Oh, yes. Mikhail and his wife, Anna. They were killed in a train accident a year ago. Do you have children? No. No. Do you like uh, milk or sugar? Clear, please. Clear. Me too. Tasha? Tasha is Mikhail and Anna's daughter. But now I am afraid I am losing her. Why? 
She has a cranial tumor and it constricts the blood going to her brain until... But can it be treated? Yes. But not by a doctor here. There is a surgeon in Los Angeles who has perfected that operation. Well, can't you take her there? No, because they revoked our visas two days ago. Why? I could not keep them silent any longer. Do you know what steroids are? Uh, no, not really, except they affect the growth of body tissue. Yes. The drugs have many effects on body chemistry. But their success with making athletes more powerful has led to further research. What kind of research? They have established a special project within the Institute. I mean, if the drugs can cause better athletes, then why not better technicians? Why not more efficient factory workers, more effective soldiers? They are uh, making tests with steroids on children now. Have these tests been documented? Yes. The Institute has made tapes in order to modify the children's behavior. Can you get a copy of that tape? There is only one. If I take it, I will be guilty of treason against the state, and you, as you said yesterday, will be guilty of espionage. I fly back tomorrow night. and you will take the tape. Yes. What happens to Tasha? Tasha? They will probably keep her as a threat over me until the trial is over. And then the state will take her. Until she dies? There is nothing more that I can do. There's got to be a way. There must be a way. forward to seeing Tasha at Lennon's tomb tomorrow at 10. Nicole. Nikki, you know what? You're out of your mind. Yep. You can't smuggle a kid out in this. Almost ideal. Hey, she's not gonna spend her life in here. You know, we get to the airport, we get out of the taxi, through custom VIP, then on the plane and out she gets. Great. What am I supposed to do with the camera? The camera? You leave it behind the camera. Leave it behind? Nikki, <laughs> the network will kill me. Oh, please forget the network. It's my responsibility. Don't you worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. You know what? You are crazy. I know that. Listen, thank you. Thank you. Just trust it. Okay? Nikki, you're crazy. Why are
Pasa todo. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, the uh, floor lady let me in the way for I you here, and I thought you died on me. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a much better surprise for you. We're going to Leningrad. We're what? We're going to Leningrad. What are you talking about? Well, the general secretary has postponed the interview. Oh. No, 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 no. He wants to see you in his dacha near Leningrad. But we're all leaving from here. It's arranged. Yeah, well, there are flights from Leningrad too. Yeah. Well, what's the matter? I thought you'd be pleased. Will it give us more time here together? Yes, 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 of course. No, I am pleased. I'm just uh, very surprised. What about Richard, my cameraman? Well, he goes back on your prime minister's plane tonight. Oh, great. Well, then, cameraman in Leningrad, too, you know. Soviet cameraman, best in the world. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Is there something wrong? No, 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 no. There's nothing wrong. Everything is fine. It's just, uh, when do we leave? They're still making the arrangements, but uh, I'll let you know as soon as they're confirmed. Okay? Okay. So there we are. And here we are. arranged. I can't do it now, Valentine. My plans have been changed and I don't know the true reason behind it. I trusted you. I have taken the proof. You understand? Yes, but I'm no longer leaving from Moscow. They have me go to Leningrad now for the interview with Pushinsky. I leave in an hour. Leningrad? Yes, can you take Tasha there? like our prime minister's country house. You know, Nikki, this, this part of Leningrad is, it's full of these old estates. Come, I'll show you the grounds. You might like to use them as an introduction to the interview. I might. Come on. Now, there is Lake Ladoka. 
Oh, now this view. This view is famous in all Russia, because here the general secretary likes to pose for informal portraits with his family, his colleagues. Well, I think it's time to get another angle. Hmm, maybe you're right. Yes, I'm right. Hey, but nothing too revolutionary. No, 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 no. Because unlike you in the West, here we like to portray our leaders as leaders, strong, dignified. Very beautiful, right? Oh, excuse me, I have to leave you just for a moment. Busy Valley? Да, да, Леша. Садитесь. Удобно. Да, спасибо. Вот, посмотри. Тебя это было известно? I speak English, so he will not understand. It was your responsibility. Listen, Liwasha. I want peace. Detente. It's better for Russia, better for everyone. And this Kanatsky Prime Minister agrees with us. But you know, Politburo. Half of them, they're against the town. They want me out. What happy they will be if KGB arrests Canadian reporter girl. International incident. Accord fails. Listen, Lewis. Follow her. Find out what she does with Ulanova and stop them. Agree? Yes. If you fail, no question. But me, I will finish you. Lyosha, how's the um, translation being handled tomorrow? Well, as I told you, he speaks a kind of English, but uh, nothing's been fixed. And the mobile unit? Can, can they run a cable back there? Hmm? What's the matter? No, nothing. Oh, come on. What's wrong? You look upset. <laughs> it's nothing. It's just that... Well, the... General Secretary is still working in his study, but oh, don't worry, there'll be plenty of time for you to see it tomorrow, before the interview. Tomorrow? Uh, is it still on? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Where are we going now? Back to Leningrad to see the sights. To An in tourist site? guide will drop you at your hotel. A guide? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm awfully sorry. I'd love to show you myself, but uh, I'll be tied up all day at the facility making arrangements. I'll meet you back at your hotel tonight. All right? Why we want here? Everyone go Winter Palace. Why you want Park Palace? It's your option. Ah, trade! You want a news article? Soviet trade greatest in socialist world. In here we have the fair auction every day. We move millions, millions of fair. 320 million rubles Soviet first sold to entire capitalist world. Oh, uh, where's the auction room? A trade very important. Still, Robert Foss, the best Foss in the whole world. 770 million export Foss, 57 million rubles Foxes, yes. 84. Say 25. 
25 by half. We'll say 30. 30 dollars. 35. Who'll say 40? 40 I have. Say 50. 50 I have. Say 55. I have you meet project manager of Fort Auction, Grigory Stanovich. It's a beautiful hunt. I have. Do I have 60? Grigory, can I ask you a question? Hello? What Well, let's set it up. I'll find a buyer. Ah, very good. Excuse me. What do you have to do next? Let's start the bidding at $12. Who'll say $12? 12 I have. Who'll say 13? 13 I have. What the hell are you doing here? 50. We'll say 16. I need your help. 16 I have. So Seven, ask. 18. 19. I have to get we'll someone 19. out of this country. Well, you are crazy? 15, mm. The boyfriend? She's a little girl. They canceled her visa. And she requires an operation. $20 I have. 30. What do you mean an operation? They got great doctors here. People come from all over the world. For what she has, Zach, the doctor is in L.A. She could die. Oh. Now, look, I just bought $78,000 worth of blue mink I don't need. Do I hear 15? 15 I have. We'll say 20. Nikki. Do I hear 20? You know, I've worked hard all my life. Like your daddy, my friend. We work like dogs. And I want to tell you something. And after all these years, I end up with nobody in the whole world except you. Now, what you're planning here is stupid. I've been doing business in this country for 20 years, and I tell you, it's stupid. But you know, if that's what you want, you got it. 20 I have. 25. $30. Last call. Sold to buyer $29 for $25. This is Mr. Sackman from Canada. My in-tourist guide. And Mr. Uh, Grigory Stanovich. Uh, Stanovich. Uh, where's the photographer? We get one. Quick. Don't you worry. Where can we talk alone? Follow me. Nobody will bother us here. I rent this exclusive so I can do deals in private and still keep an eye on the uh, auction. Go and look. Do you want a drink? No. Thank you, Zach. Ah. Tea, Pastor Reiser. Pastor Bonnet. Petrov, who telephoned? You idiot! Naive you! Tebe vanat, na? Naive you! Did you find your friend? Mm -hmm. Will he help us? Yes. He has a plan to get us over the border into Finland. Natasha is very lucky. You told me that? No, I couldn't. I... It is terrible to feel such fear. I must go, Valentine. All the details are written here.
Да. Товарищ полковник, наводный институт. Полковник Козлов слушает. Доктор Уланова украла очень секретные документы. Это важные документы? Да, да. Очень, очень секретные. Да, очень секретные. Арестуйте Уланову. Уланову украла секретные документы. Чтобы ваша канадская журналистка их продала нашим врагам. Нет, это правда. Я это так ожил. <laughs> Верно. Мне. Милиция! Откройте сейчас же дверь! Куда она ушла? Куда она ушла? Где она? Заберем ее. away from your guide in the fur palace. I'm sorry. So the KGB were alerted, and as you can see, they have paid you a visit. The... Yes. And now they insist on canceling the interview. You have to stop them. Tell me where you were. I can't. And then I can't stop them. Please, you must stop them. Listen to me. The interview is tomorrow. If I do this for you, and you are involved in something wrong, then I will be responsible. Me. So, tell me the truth, or I can't help you. Okay. I went to see Dr. Ulanova. Why? She has a story she wants me to break outside the Soviet Union. And that's why she gave you a classified tape which she stole from her institute last night. You know then! The KGB just told me! Have you any idea what you're getting yourself involved in? Oh, forget about the interview. Forget about ruining my career. Forget it! But do you realize what the penalty for espionage in the Soviet Union is? Yes. Then why are you asking for it? I'm not. Look, you could have come to me. I have friends, influence. I, I could have helped you. Would you? What? Would you? Could you have helped? No, not if it involved breaking the law. Oh. Oh. But do you expect me to throw everything away because of your misguided zeal? Listen to me. The KGB are just waiting to make propaganda from such an incident. Okay. Don't worry about it anymore. There's not going to be an incident. What do you mean? My friend at the Fur Palace could not help me. And I had to tell Valentine no. So please, give me the tape. The tape? She kept it. Where is she? She, she said she was going back to Moscow. Is this the truth? Yes. Do you want to search me for the tape? Do you want to no, you search my hand back? No, 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 no. I just want to know. Can I trust you? Podushan. Then I will stop the KGB from canceling your interview. But I cannot stop them from watching you now. I know. I know that. Don't worry about it anymore, all right? And Yosha, I'm truly sorry. I never meant you any harm. Oh, Durak. <laughs> Is it possible? that I shall miss you. Miss me? I'm afraid you'll wish you never met me.
it is possible, I, I shall miss you. I might miss you too. Да, товарищ. Well, that's it. It's all set up. Is there anything else you need? No. Everything is under control, I believe. Uh -huh. I'm nervous, Leosha. This outfit, I wore it yesterday to break oh, it come, in, come. and I'm it's still uncomfortable. Fine. Come, let's get out of here. Yes. So, uh, you're in good hands. Yes. But not mine, I'm afraid. I gotta go back to the city to uh, supervise the transmission from the central facility. You're leaving? Can't even take you to the airport. But uh, I fixed the car for you. Well, then I won't see you again, Leosha. <laughs> not unless you miss your plane. I can't. Or you could defect. Stay here. You're serious. Yes, I am. You want me here? Very much. You could come with me. I could. It's time to go. Buy a 35 for 35 dollars. The next lot, who'll say 15? 15 I have. Who'll say 20? 20, 22, 24, 28. Who'll say 30? 30. Who'll say 32? 32 I have. So, Yeah, that's all. How much time left? Oh, ce ne sera pas long, mademoiselle. Monsieur le secrétaire général va venir très bien. Oh, un petit peu, mademoiselle. Very pleased to meet you, sir. Very glad to meet you, too. Thank you. Thank you for granting me this interview. Nietzsche, it's my pleasure. We've joined General Secretary Vladislav Bushinsky at his country retreat outside Leningrad. For the last three days now, Mr. Bushinsky and our Prime Minister have been discussing issues that will affect the future of our two nations, and indeed the Soviet bloc and the entire Western world. Mr. Bushinsky, how did you two get along? Ваш премьер-министр проявил большую мудрость и понимание. Министр Was our Prime Minister successful? 
The overwhelming majority of our citizens in our own country will never live here. We do not have the luxury of allowing this tiny speck of a dissident group a voice. That's it. Mr. Bushinsky, a part of the Helsinki Agreement includes a scientific exchange. Would you be willing to discuss the research being conducted into steroid programming? Steroid, uh, let us leave science to science. But it doesn't only concern scientists. These experiments could turn future generations into robots with little or no freedom of choice or human dignity. What I am asking you, sir, is would you please explain the purpose of these experiments? You are like my daughter. Uh, you are like my daughter. <laughs> she also asks me hard questions. <laughs> we live in the of Nibuvalova, history of the Козлов служит. Да, да. Он и наедет в аэропорт. Ленинград. Да. Я пошлю ящик людей. Да. Sorry, I can't go with you, Dasha. I speak in English because I want Nicole to understand and to remember what I say. And if I know that you are safe and well, I will not be so afraid to do what I must do. 
someday you will come home again. I want you to be very brave. I love you, Tasha. I will always love you. I'm Zach. I'm Fashion. Ah, let me see. Excuse me. In Stranka or Vodka, Willi? No, this is too much. I can't speak. Come. 30 I have. 31, 32, 33. Who'll say 35? 35 I have. Who'll say 38? 39? 40? 40. Last call. Sold to my Last call, sold to 43 for $20. Putting up the next lot. Let's start the bidding at 50. Who'll say 16? 16 I have. 17. 18. Who'll we'll say 19? She'll take care of you. Now get in there, cozy in. We're going to put some very expensive furs around you. People come all over for Raincoat. Raincoat. Oh, very good. Very good. Tuck those in. Nikki, we're going to make it. Yeah. 
там ты смотришь? Это... Иди, иди, робота. Иди там. Да. Паспорт, паспорт. А я это сделаю. Диви, это помню. Телефон, пожалуйста. Только отошел, в нем сидел иностранец. Я хотел бы, чтобы вы проверили, в чем дело. Хорошо. Дайте выбор. Застал. Что? This is 
taking too damn long. The tape must stay in Russia where it belongs. Let me have it. Nicole, I told you I have influence. And I will use it to help Dr. Ulanova, but I must have the tape to do that. Thank you. Eliosha, hey, wait. In the doll. In the doll? Thank you. 
take good care of her. And of yourself. Thank you.